Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Central Florida Eats Live. We find ourselves in Orlando near the intersections of OBT and Sand Lake Road, home to a Brazilian steakhouse that is highly recommended by my cameraman, Paulo Almeida, and several other people here in town. It is called Adega Gaucha Grill. And it's my extreme pleasure and honor to introduce you to my co-host for this show. And he is the co-owner. His name is Ricardo Oliveira. Ricardo, good to see you, my friend. Great to see you too, David. Out of the gate, I gotta ask you, what does Adega Gaucha mean in English? Adega is a wine cellar. Okay. I have a passion for the wines. And Gaucha is people from south of Brazil and Argentina and Uruguay. So it's a wine cellar from the south. Wine cellar from the south, yeah. excellent. And what plaza are we in? Uh, we are in the <clears throat> nearby Avenue the Florida Mall yeah. Avenue Shoppers. Yep, mm -hmm. right near the Florida Mall indeed. Plenty of parking for both nighttime and daytime, lunch and dinner and brunch. And if there's not enough surface a lot parking here on the outside, you've got a garage yes, below you. Yes, we do. You. It's over 100 uh, parking garage, so plenty of garage for all guests and you need it because this restaurant is enormous. Can we yeah. go inside? Absolutely. Let me hold yeah, the door do for it. you. And I appreciate the Paolo. hospitality. Welcome to Adega Gaucha Grill here, opened in 2021. Excuse me. Excuse and me. out of the gate, I have to tell you straight up, Ricardo, this is beautiful. Let's take a spin through your dining room real quick before we have a cocktail Absolutely. here. How do you describe the interior design of this place? We are modern, contemporary mm -hmm. uh, Brazilian steakhouse. Uh, we try to do more modern, clean, uh, uh, plenty of uh, outside lights in mm -hmm. the restaurant, indeed. which makes uh, you feel like in vacation. Indeed, indeed. And we're looking at a buffet here. Uh, uh, is the buffet offered every day for lunch and dinner? Every day we have the gourmet table, the old gourmet table. It's over 60 items. We have a charcuterie board, we have a devil eggs, we have a Waldorf Astoria salad. My wife used to work in the Waldorf Astoria in New York. Nice. Beef carpaccio, smoked salmon, uh, wedge salad. And then we have our hot dishes as well, including the gourmet table option. Gotcha. And is this the kind of meal where you can have meat delivered to the table as well? We have all chefs that come around with the different cuts of beef, pork, lamb, sausage, and we have the a la carte option as well. Gotcha. So you and can have the gourmet table, you can have the full experience with the all steaks, and you can have a la carte as well. Understood. Is there at lunch a price for the all-you-can-eat buffet and the meat? Uh, lunchtime right now, the gourmet table option is $19. For the food experience, you it's $41, and the a la carte varies $22 to $30. Fantastic. All right, should we start with some cocktails? What do you say? I, I love your so, bar. Sounds like a plan. It's beautiful. We have Elton behind the bar. Hi, Elton. How you doing? Hey. Good. Let me go ahead and get behind you, if you don't mind, so I can get a microphone near you. You've got three drinks to show off today, don't yes. you? What do you right. want to show off first? Today we're going to make the Adega 43. Uh, the Adega 43. Come on back here with me, my friend Ricardo. Absolutely, and, David. Uh, and we're going to ask him what the Adega 43. Why 43? Uh, 43 is because of the liquor 43. So it's a drink. Then have uh, liquor 43, tequila, orange juice, passion fruit juice, lime juice and uh, flour, edible, and Why don't you make it, mixology is gonna make Let's it for it. us. All right, so the show is yours. Go ahead and make that for <laughs> us. The signature cocktail, the Adega 43. There's some flair, I like his arm movements. <laughs> show off the liquor, very good. Now, do you sell a lot of these Adega 43s? Uh, that's our top, top three uh, most uh, sell drink, okay. uh, including the passion fruit, passionate, that we have that as well, and our Kaipirosca. Oh, that's great come here for a, a pre-cocktail, I guess, before they would sit down for the table. Because I understand on weekends, you get pretty busy here. Yes, we do solid the business weekend. It's 300 seat restaurant, so we're expecting to serve over a thousand people on Mother's Day. Wow, yes. Mother's Day, a thousand moms and uh -huh. their families. Oh, right, very good. So he's putting all kinds of unique ingredients in there. As you said, the, uh, the Adega 43 liqueur, the tequila, the orange juice, the passion fruit juice, the lime juice. He's got to shake it up. <laughs> Where's Elton from? That, uh, Elton from Sao Paulo. He's our mixologist and uh, operator partner of the Diffield Next Location. Nice, okay. There's the garnish. Oh, and the flowers. Can't go wrong with a little flower. Elton, you've done a beautiful job with that, my friend. May I have a sip of that? Of course you can. All right. My glasses away here. Thank you. And what's the other one you made there, the red one? Uh, this is a caipirosca with berries, and we also have the passionate one of the 
most popular drinks we make over here. All right, you must grab a drink. Which one do you want to grab for I our salute? I will take the Passionate. All right, we have to give a cheers to Ricardo yep. Oliveira and the success he is having at uh, Adega Gaucha Grill. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Let's try right. this. Mm. Elton, that is so good. I need to take a picture before I <laughs> down that, right? Because that is the rule. Go ahead and Paolo, move that, that one over here. Okay, good. We always take pictures, Ricardo, because as you know, social media is important. Absolutely. So let's grab these and take these to our table. There you go. Thank you. I understand that you have some appetizers you want to show off that you're Yes, proud we of. do. All right, we're going to have you sit uh, here. And uh, Paolo, I'm going to sit over. Actually, no, you're going to sit there, my friend. I'll sit All right, right here. Yeah. Good. All right. Ooh, it feels good to sit down. It's been a long Wednesday so far. We are here on a Wednesday. You are open for lunch, and I can see you've got a good crowd brewing, but I, uh, I imagine on the weekends you're packed. Well, we, we've been solid. We've become a, a restaurant number uh, one a Brazilian restaurant in the TripAdvisor, number three restaurant TripAdvisor in Orlando. Wow. And we have over 3,000 reviews in Google. We have 4.9 in reviews. I noticed we tell that. Us a lot, so That's we appreciate amazing. appreciate all guests being telling good things about that. You are doing great. Yeah, yeah. and you came down and opened this up in what month of 2021? We opened in August 2021. August, So okay. we're going to celebrate our third anniversary now. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, what do you want to talk about first here on the appetizers? All right, so we have a three appetizers there. So the first one that we have is our beef croquette. Okay. So beef croquette is a Thai is spicy. Uh, uh -huh. We make with the beef short ribs. So it's very common in Brazil, a Rio de Janeiro. So we try to bring the experience of Brazil overall. Okay. Uh, we are authentic south of Brazil. But we do have a Brazilians then go travel to Rio de Janeiro just to have those croquettes. The difference than we did is we make with short ribs, which is our biggest sell. Here. Okay, I'll try as well. Bon appetit. Oh. Ricardo, those are excellent. Those are melting your mouth good. Good stuff, right? Oh. Can Paolo, the cameraman, try one? I think he should. As a, as a guy from Rio, he knows what I'm talking about. So, uh -huh. I mean, He's the one that got me onto this restaurant, so he deserves to have a snack too. So uh -huh. he's going to turn the camera around on his face. There we go. Mm. So good. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. So tender and delicate. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you want to talk about next? The second one that we have here. It's a grilled cheese with guava, mm. so we call Romeo and Juliet. Why the name? Because it's a different flavor. So you have the saltness of the cheese, you have the sweetness of the guava, which is a perfect combination. So sometimes um, opposite goes very along, so that's the case here. That's what I have to remind myself of my wife every day. <laughs> she would agree, I assume. Yeah. Opposites attract indeed. Look at that, Paolo. All right, here we go. Mm. What a flavor combo. Mm. Mm. The cheese, it's so, it's not like super chewy. It's, it's, it's not, I don't know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. It's firm. I guess it's the best way I can describe that. Uh -huh. In a good way. Yep. And the guava gives a complement of the cheese. So oh, it's a component. Fantastic. So for us, about the pairing of all components that you have in the dish. So we take very serious in that. So. Paolo? Oh, you can't have that, right? That's dairy. Okay. Oh, you can? Okay, you got one. Well, well, hang on. <laughs> I got one more minute. There we go. You can make that for him, but we'll need to talk about that third one. Absolutely. There. So, we have some appetizers here as well. So, this is our, our special uh, tuna tartare. Mm. So, some people can go to, a, to Brazilian steakhouse and have the option of a la carte as I mentioned. So, one of them would be the shrimp cocktail, we have uh, our oysters, and we have our tuna tartare. So, our tuna tartare have a ginger. Uh, a soy sauce, we have some uh, lemon juice, okay. and we make with uh, some plantains on that just to, you know. I'll let you dig in here. Okay. And show us how that is to be mm -hmm. eaten. If you're just tuning into us, we are uh, broadcasting yeah. from Orlando. This is a new modern ste Brazilian steakhouse. It is called Adega Gaucha, Adega Gaucha Grill. That means Southern Brazil wine cellar. Mm -hmm. And I'm with Ricardo yeah. Oliveira, who is the food. owner, who's helping me eat because a lot of the stuff is is it's just 
there's artistry in, in putting this together. And, yeah, and that looks fantastic. This is Central Florida Eats Live. When we come back, we're going to talk entrees here. We're just getting started. And these are fabulous, my friend. We'll be right back, two and two. The intersection of Sand Lake Road and Orange Blossom Trail, right near the Florida Mall, at a new-ish modern Brazilian restaurant called Adega Gaucha Grill. And it's my extreme honor, once again, to introduce you to my co-host, who has a long resume, a rich history in the restaurant industry, Ricardo Oliveira. Good to see you again, my friend. Nice to see you again, So far, baby. we've had some incredible appetizers and great cocktails, but I want to get to the meat, the entree. Should we go back inside? Something, my friend. Let me... Let me pay you back opening the Very doors good, for you. Enough. You know, it's a part of our hospitality here. Yeah, Welcome to Palo. Our We're gonna send Paolo into the kitchen real quick. If you All don't right. Mind. You're proud of your kitchen, I presume, aren't yes, you? Yes, we are. So I, there was something in there he was talking about, maybe with some spindles or something. What are we gonna see back there? You'll have the rotisserie. Uh -huh. We work with the high grade of uh, a meat. Uh, we have our oh. chef here, oh. our Gaucho chef, friend of mine for many years, Valmore de Almeida. So Valmore, Hi, it's our chef. Wow. This is fantastic. Oh my goodness. goodness. So how many different kinds of meats do you have on here? We have about 15 different cuts of meat here. A range between beef, pork, lamb, sausage. Our signature is the house special picanha. Our beef ribs takes four, four hours to cook. Uh, we have a beef hump. We are one of the few Brazilian steakhouse in the United States and serve that. It's very traditional. Beef hump. Beef hump. Oh. Yeah. Some of the cows, they have the hump. Is that what that so is? No, that's the pineapple. That's oh, okay. the pineapple. Oh, pineapple the is always hump? good to clean it up the palate. So the beef hump is the cooping. The so the cooping we cooking then here, ah. right? So it's low cooked okay. as well, four hours. And we marinate that with the salt, a little bit of onion and garlic. Excellent. Well, I would be proud of this too. Nice work. I appreciate this. This is great. We probably should, uh, Address the the what, what your servers and your the folks are wearing there. Yeah, that's the typical uh, gaucho uh, uh, clothes, right? So we have yeah. the bombachas. Uh, the bombachas is because back in the days they have to hide the horses, so we'd be more comfortable. So we have the boots, uh, we have the belt, and we have this. We represent part of the culture as well. The scarf, the white scarf, are the republicans. So we're talking about the civil award you uh -huh. had back in the days. Okay. So the red one was the rebel. So we represent the Republicans. Very good, okay. <laughs> well, you're in a good state for that. Yeah. Florida, indeed. Okay, so we are gonna take a bigger table here for the entrees. Mm -hmm. And I see some wine as well. Ricardo, we're gonna put you in this seat right here. And we are going to address the fact that we are sitting in front of a wine collection mm -hmm. here that's very impressive. How many different bottles of wine? Uh, you we have here? about a hundred labels right now, and uh, we represent the international wine list. We have uh, wines uh, from South America, we have a uh, California, uh, 1855 classification from Bordeaux. So I studied the wine uh, for over 10 years back in New York. I was wine director for a big restaurant there. And uh, we're doing a lot of uh, food pairing here yeah. uh, to enhance the flavors uh, for every dish that we have. Okay, very good. Well, what do you, how do you want to start this exactly? You tell me. Okay, so the first one that we have here would be our lamb chops. The lamb chops is a dish that we have a la carte as well. Okay. So the lamb chop will serve there with some sauteed spinach. Okay. And uh, we will have some sides there for you to try it out as All well. All right. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. The sides that we have there, it's a cream corn brulee. Uh, we have some saute mushrooms and we have a trio fry, which is the uh, polentas. We have uh, yuca and you have the fries. This one here is one of my favorites of the sides. So it's a cream corn brulee. So it's a cream corn brulee style. Okay. It looks like dessert. It, <laughs> it's in the between. Yeah. Wow. And what's this gentleman's name? That's Valmore. Valmore. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, and you look great this today. This is just there terrific. All right, so um, I can cut a piece of this. No problem. Yeah, sure. Okay. Or should I eat it by hand? What would you do? We can do that. Some of people. Sometimes we make that only one bone, which we call lollipops. <laughs> Mm. So for us, it's all about the quality of the, the beef that we serve. This one is a grass feed from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to not marinate that as much for you to preserve the flavors of the, the, each particular cut that we have. So we just lemon, uh, lemon pepper. Great. 
That is terrific, Ricardo. I'll try that creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Horn. Ooh. That's so fluffy and light. That's terrific. Thank you. Explain to our audience what the green and red circles yeah. are. Pretty obvious, but I'll let you do it. Sure. Main of the churrasco idea is that we start with the red. For us, here our guest comes for the steak, so we start with the green. Uh -huh. So green means go, red means stop. <laughs> so when you have enough food in your plate, you don't want to have the food cold. And that's the beauty of a Brazilian concept, because you can eat the small bites and take a little bit longer without having to worry about the food getting cold. Right. So you flip your coaster to red just to stop the service, and if you want some more, you go green, so like we feed me in green, don't <laughs> feed me red. Beautiful. What wine would you pair with this? Uh, for the pairing for the lamb chops, I'd like to recommend Cartucha. It's a Portuguese wine, Alicante Boucher. Uh, it's a one of the grapes there. Might I take a sip? Absolutely, you might. I love yeah. red wine. <laughs> I'm not really a wine snob. I'll drink anything, but if you're going to pair this with me, yeah, I'm taking your suggestion. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is terrific. It's a good way to treat yourself, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. We deserve it. Why not? Yeah, sure. All right, what do you want to okay. talk about next? The second one is a traditional cut. We call picanha. Picanha is the central cut part of the uh, top sirloin. Okay? All right. So that cut that we need to cut there by we have to remove their uh, hand make. Uh, we make with some vinaigrette sauce. Vinegar salt is vegan, tomato, onions, and pepper. So that's the most uh, traditional cut in Brazil. Uh, we serve that table side in the skews, as you can see that. Some people like the vinaigrette sauce, some people like with the chimichurri. Chimichurri okay. is a, bar a parsley. Okay. So I'm gonna get you that as well for you to try, then you oh. can see which one is your favorite. Oh, okay, one. very good. It's just such service. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Oh, goodness. I wish, I wish I could be treated like this every day at lunch. <laughs> All right, we'll try the, uh, the first sauce there. What's your favorite on the, on the toppings? Sometimes I, like, sometimes I like the vinaigrette sauce. Sometimes yeah. I like the, you know. It's so fresh. Yep. Mm. So see how we stand there? So we work, uh, we work here with the um, uh, wet age process, right? So all picanha here is served with the 45 days wet age okay. to give you the taste. So we have there uh, a picanha for six weeks in a walking cooler for us to keep the, the standards. Ooh. The, is it, uh, pronounce that word, the, the green? The, the parsley, yeah, the chimichurri. Mm -hmm. Chimichurri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my favorite. They're both terrific. Yep. If you had to uh -huh. pick one, I'm going with the green. Sure. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. The wow. third one, not for the least, right? <laughs> we have a Valmore coming in there. So that's how beef ribs. In Brazil, if you're from south, if you don't know how to make a beef ribs, you cannot tell them you come from south, right? Wow. Slow cooked, four hours, central part of the ribs. You can bring it down, Valmore, we'll put that on the table. Yep. Oh and you're gonna see how flavor that cut is, uh, David. Okay. It's my favorite. This is your favorite, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh, Ricardo. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Say your name for me again. My name is Balmor. Bal spell that. Balmor gonna be V as a Victor A L M O R. Balmor. Balmor. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from South Brazil. South Brazil. Okay. And I think. Thank you very you much, are sir. Very welcome. All right, this is gonna be, oh, wow, that cuts like butter. Oh, you gotta man. cut some from here as well. You want Paolo to eat Paolo, something? He gotta yeah, try you that. So, you can, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll cut Paolo There's a mouth of water in there. I'm gonna leave it to the table for you, okay? You know? Oh. And then, uh, you know, you guys can enjoy it. One more piece for Paolo, please. Uh -huh. That is yep. so good, Ricardo. That I recommend to have with some Paul Hobbs. Paul Hobbs is a bold California Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Single okay. vineyard. Yes, here. That's perfect. Yeah, yep, Paul. right there is good for Paolo. Thank you so much, Balmore. Balmore, Balmore. 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 And how about these three potato-based things? What are those? We make our fries with um, with uh, herbs. That's polenta. Polenta in Brazil is a cornmeal. Okay. And traditional yuca. Eat by yuca hand? is mandioca. Yeah, it's just a side fry for. And it's nice to see it because we Brazilians started to bring polentas to the U.S. So now in American Airlines flight, you have that. So the way that we cook here, we have a very special fryer. So that's a kind of a cream inside and crispy outside. So that's oh. the way that we do it. 
That is fabulous. Cream corn. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to begin. I just want to sit here and eat with you all day, but I've got to go to a commercial break here. You're watching Central Florida Eats live at Adega Gaucha Grill near the Florida Mall. A brand new modern Brazilian steakhouse. I can't recommend this one enough, folks. You're gonna love it. They have brunch here on Saturday and Sunday, open for lunch and dinner. You will not be disappointed, that I can tell you. We'll be right back in two and two. Thank Cheers. you, my friend. Cheers again. Florida Eats Live. We find ourselves at Adega Gaucha Grill here near the Florida Mall at Sand Lake Road and OBT in South Orlando. It's been my extreme honor and pleasure to have as a co-host today, Ricardo Oliveira, who is the co-owner of this lovely uh, modern Brazilian steakhouse. Co-owner because the other owner is? My wife. Beautiful wife, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie. She's been helping behind the scenes here. She's yeah. excellent at the service. And by the way, Paolo got mad at me. He says, how come you didn't talk about one of your favorite items in the last segment? Which of course is? Cheese bread. Pão Cheesy bread. Queijo. Pão yeah. de queijo. Yep. So uh, when you come here, make sure you stuff your face with a few. Not too much. Don't let your eyes be bigger than your stomach because those will fill you up quick. That's right. Yeah. And you, it's a good thing. It's a it's a gluten-free bread. So Oh, it's gluten-free bread. It's a gluten-free bread. Yep. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. But definitely want to leave room for something sweet here from the Brazilian Steakhouse. Let's talk about what you like for dessert, my friend. Oh. End of the meal deserves a, 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 a great dessert as well. So it's all homemade. Okay, so we're starting here with the banoff. Banoff is a banana pie. Oh. So the first time then we made it because of the dulce de leche was pretty sweet. Yeah. So we did a, a banana flambe. Uh, okay. And we have some uh, uh, lemon juice as well, just to break down a little bit of the sweetness. And I think with that, we got all components very, uh, very good together. So it's artistry. I hate I hate to bite into it because uh, it's it's a piece of art. But uh -huh. you want to break it open for us? Oh, we should, right? Yes, there we, we should. Go. Oh yeah. I'll try. Go it ahead. As well. Yep. You know, uh, we have some uh, what we call a nuts flour on top of that. Okay. Right. And we have some sea salt caramel as well. Oh wow. That's stupendous. Mm -hmm. We make that three times a week just to keep the freshness with the whipped cream with all components because yes. otherwise the banana could get a little bit oxidized and that, that it's not the case here. I hope we didn't end with the, I start with the best because that is my favorite. I love that's banana. The, that's the one of my favorite. It is, well. okay. Yeah, you we, know. Let's do it traditional. But we have some chocolate, uh, uh, we call Brigadier, so it's chocolate trio, right? Yes. So that's, that is for chocolate lovers, so it's a Belgian chocolate. So we do three toppings on that. Uh, Dulce de leche, we do with... Um, a Nutella, and the middle one is the coconut cream. Oh, and the nice. coconut cream, I did that because one of my favorite candies when I was young was Almond Joys. Almond Joys. So I kind of I had the coconut mixed with chocolate to give that kind of, a, you know, um, good memories for the back. Almond Joys got nuts. Yes. Mounds don't. <laughs> the old TV commercial, right? Might, should I take a bite with go the ahead, chocolate? Go ahead, go uh. ahead. <laughs> that <Fabulous. Nice. laughs> great. I love it. It's about the good memories when we were kids and have a good time yes. when you go out to have a dinner, right? I miss those days, don't you? Sometimes I miss yep. those days. All right, <laughs> what do you want to recommend here? Third one, our famous caramel flan. Caramel flan is a Chef Eric's a grandmother recipe. So we have a, a great argument when we first opened which one would make the best flans here. Eric come up with a recipe was from grandmother. So he's, uh, all the chef asked him, but I think should have a little bit more caramel. So I got a little bit more caramel for the chef to make me happy, you know, because some people like more caramel. So that's how we do it. Did he have a, did he have a fit when you did that? Or was he okay with that? No, he was okay, okay with good. that. He got a joke. That's funny. <laughs> so the, the good, the caramel flan, you know, the secret caramel flan, you cannot taste the egg on that. So right. you have a condensed milk. Correct. So it's kind of a balance at all the all components that to make the dessert makes uh, tasty. That's heaven. That is absolutely terrific. All three of them. Thank you. The David. entire meal has been sensational. Do you take reservations? We highly recommend reservations, especially on the weekends. Okay. Um, Mother's Day, we are almost fully booked at this moment. Wow. Uh, Good for we you. We try to not maximize the number of people then we serve because it's very important for us that each guest who lives here lives with the right experience. And you got to understand, you're almost sold out on Mother's Day, and we didn't even show half. The restaurant, it, it goes on for a ways. That How many seats do you have in we total? Ha we have a 300 seats total. 300 seats total, yep. and you're almost sold out. Yep. So you're doing something right. What is the website for more information? Adegagausha.com. Of course. And where are you on social media? Uh, we are uh, adega underscore gausha.com. Okay, so basically anything adega gausha, we'll find you on You'll social media. You'll find us on social media, yeah. yep. 
It has been an absolute honor and, and a privilege to in, and interview you and be part of this and break bread with you. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you very much, David. I, I can't hope recommend serve this you all. Yep. Yeah, this is, no wonder you're getting stellar reviews. It is absolutely incredible. We will see you next time here on Central Florida Eats Live. Come down to Adega Coucha. <laughs>